Richard Southern joins us from the 680 News Business Center, and we start with a much talked about topic office dress codes. It turns out some people would actually sacrifice salary for comfort. Would you, Erica? I don't think I would. No, I, I mean, $5,000 is what the survey said the average worker, or at least one in three workers, would give up in order to have a relaxed dress code there in your cubicle at work. The uh, survey from Employment and Recruitment Agency Randstad. Also found that 33 percent of workers would quit or turn down a job offer if it required a conservative dress code. You know, relaxed dress quickly becoming the norm in offices across the city. 79 percent of workers reported their current workplace uh, has a relaxed dress code or none whatsoever. That said, 65 percent said they still felt it important to wear a suit or an otherwise formal dress to a job. Interview, Erica. Mm, Five thousand dollars seems like quite a lot of money. To I'm with sacrifice. you on that. I'll, yeah. I'll keep the uh, the collar and, and and jacket. I think for five thousand dollars. Same. All right, they're a man and woman's best friend. But Richard, owning a dog sure isn't cheap. Don't I know? What's your little doggy's <laughs> name again, Erica? Luna. Her name hi, is Luna. Luna. Hi, Luna. If you're, does she watch the TV when you're of away? Of course she does. Oh, yes. Well, then, I hope she's watching because she's going to be thinking, my mom, Erica, she's spending big money on me. New numbers out today, Erica, shows that owning a dog costs the average Canadian 3200 bucks a year, which could be... 32,000 over the course of a dog's lifetime, depending on uh, how long uh, the dog is with you. Uh, a poll also found that 95% of Canadians consider the pet part of the family. No surprise there. 48% treat their pets like children. 41% of dogs here in Canada sleep in their owner's bed. And that has mattress companies and other furniture companies cluing in. Uh, we have uh, the likes of Ikea and Casper now, uh, Erica, offering dog beds for big money, which are becoming increasingly popular. You probably know all about that. This is all for me. I, I feel the story is speaking to me so much right now. Absolutely. You're shelling out big money on little Luna. Yeah. Uh, there's a retail war brewing with the holiday shopping season just around the corner. Yeah, it is. Uh, parents set to spend big money probably on their kids here. The doll market expected to be very competitive uh, this holiday season between three companies. First off, it's Barbie from Mattel, the reigning champ in the doll market. She's pulling in $3.4 in sales. But Barbie's facing big competition this year from Elsa. This is from the Frozen movie, and we're going to get the sequel to that wildly popular movie out just before Christmas. There'll be a new line of Elsa dolls. But the third competitor here is from a company called MGA. They have what's called the LOL Surprise Dolls. If you got young kids, you know what these are. They come kind of hidden in, in an egg. You don't know what they are. Analysts at Jaffrey's that look at this, they think Mattel and the Barbie is actually going to come out on top, Erica, beating out the Frozen doll, which would be a bit of a surprise. But hot competition there between the world's three largest doll makers. As we start talking about Christmas, I know it's only October 1st, but yeah. it's coming and the holiday shopping is coming. It certainly is. All right, and finally, Richard, you've got a quick update on gas prices and some of the stories you'll be bringing us later in the show. Yeah, according to NPRO International, good news, gas expected to drop two cents at midnight tonight. Coming up just after 6.30, we're looking at how you may no longer need to bring your trash to the doorstep. There's a new way that I might take care of that for you, Erica. All right, thank you, Richard. We'll talk to you again uh, in the next hour. Thanks.